only season team. He has made nine of 10 field goal attempts, including a long of 58 yards for the St. Louis Battlehawks. A soccer player who was pressed into emergency duty as a high school kicker, he is now the best in his league. We visited with his very proud mother, Kelly Hopkins Brown. What have the last few months been like? They've been great. I mean, our whole family, everyone that we know, all the Taylor's friends, family, extended family out of town in New Orleans, we're all just thrilled. I mean, Taylor is kicking, which is, I guess, why I'm here, and he's over the moon. We're just, it's been exciting. And when you look at it, all of the different stops, a lot of people would have quit by now, agree? Right? Oh, absolutely. Almost most of the people I know would have quit. Uh, Taylor has, I mean, perseverance, if you look it up in the dictionary, I think it has his picture. Because he has tried and tried and tried, and he's determined. And he is, he knows what he's doing, but he's never afraid to keep learning and getting better. He moved out to California about five years ago now to kick full time and to train with a kicking coach out there, he said. Now he's with John Carney, who is just even taking him further. And he keeps learning. You know, even though he might have a great game, he still is trying to get better. Now in high school, he wasn't a kicker, right? All of a sudden, <laughs> Rumble needed a kicker. Is that how it went? That's how it went. It was crazy. He was a soccer player. You know, Taylor played soccer from the time he was little. And one thing I'll tell you real quick is when Taylor was 18 months, so he has an older brother, Taylor used to sit outside and all he wanted to do all day was play basketball. The kid was tall and he said b-ball all day. He literally played basketball all day. So he's always played soccer. End of his uh, senior year, John Carney was actually instrumental. Uh, we're friends with the football coach at the time. The soccer coach was there. The kicker was hurt. They saw Taylor. They knew us. They knew Taylor in soccer and asked him to kick. And Taylor is the type of person who will try anything. He'll be, he's like, he's a, look, he's a yes man and he'll say yes to anything. Mm -hmm. So being adventurous oh, yeah. <laughs> in this regard has paid off for him, huh? It has paid off, absolutely. When you're a mom, uh, you, I guess you can sense anxiety. Were there a lot of phone calls over the years where you could sense that that he was uh, struggling with it, or did, was he always upbeat? You know, I mean, I, I would say, so he's been gone about five years. I would say there have been a couple of lows, mm -hmm. but not even really lows. I mean, Taylor is one of the most positive people I know. He wakes up happy. I call him my Pop-Tart because he's happy every day. You know, he wakes up, you can have him doing the worst job on, on earth, first thing in the morning, he does it immediately. So it hasn't been a lot. He's been, he's pretty even keel and he's a pretty happy person. So I haven't had to really take a lot of those phone calls, thank God. The 58 yarder. Yeah. <laughs> Were you at the game? Were you I was at the game. So you must have been over the moon. It right? was, it was, I am so grateful I was able to be at that game because we haven't made them all. It was unbelievable. I mean, the stadium went wild. Fiance, husband was there. It was just, it was phenomenal. Taylor's face, it was like he just lived his dream as he could have stopped right there, you know. It, it was a fabulous time. It was wonderful. And to watch the stadium erupt. I know. You know, they, they've kind of fallen in love with him and the team. You're right. What has it been like in St. Louis when you go to football games here? I thought St. Louis wasn't a football thing. I know, that's what they all say, but those people love everyone. I mean, they embrace the players. Taylor has been doing, going out with the team, but also just doing things on his own. And the people that see him, they love him. You know, it's it's just crazy. I mean, I, they've embraced him. They're making signs with Taylor. They're screaming bang when he kicks. It's just awesome. I don't think any other city would have been this supportive. Of course, I'm, I don't know. But from sure. what I've seen from St. Louis, it's been awesome. All right. The chance to kick in the NFL. He's getting married in May, right? Yes, he is. And then... Uh, Hopefully a chance to try out in the NFL. How special would that be? He's done it before, right? He's done it before. He's had two tryouts that were very successful. Hasn't, you know, been called on the team yet, but there's still a lot of time. It would be incredible. I mean, his wedding coming up now would be a dream come true for him and for all of us, mm -hmm. honestly. Does he talk much about the NFL? He talks about it, but he is... One thing I'm proud of him about is that he's so happy where he is right now. He's not, you know. Not like, even looking ahead. Huh? No, I mean, of course, yes, he'd love that. But he's so happy with this. If this is where he's going to be for the next few years, he's he's just thrilled. The whole XFL experience, I think, for a lot of people has been very good. People are kind of surprised by the success of the league. Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. I mean, I just watching it, it seems like 
it's 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 getting some traction, you know. Mm -hmm. Good. I know um, St. Louis has led the league in sales. Yeah. So they've had the most people at every game. Actually, their next home game is on, on the 21st in two weeks. They're opening up additional seats because they're expecting more of a crowd. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, where else could he, where else, what's better than that? As a mom, you're supposed to teach your children. Mm -hmm. What have you learned from your child? Wow. I've learned so many things from him. I've learned how to keep a positive attitude despite what's going on how to never look back, how to keep growing, and how to just keep on going. And you have your own business. That's something that you can you can apply to what you do, right? I do. I apply it to my business as well. Well, we're, uh, we're, we're pleasantly surprised by what he's done. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. Good. And uh, maybe he'll get a chance to kick in a championship game. How cool would that oh, be? Oh, that would be wonderful. I know that's coming up. A couple more weeks, we'll know. So we're... <laughs> Hoping it happens. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. It was a pleasure. Pleasure.